on the subject of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving goes beyond just appreciating God for his goodness. But thanksgiving is a divine protocol to approach him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. So I stood out there when Brother Todd was ministering and I began to hear this song in Yoruba language about thanksgiving. And whenever we say thank you, we are trigger the miraculous. Jesus said, Father, I thank you. And then miracles began to happen. So, it's a new song. Thank you. 
I feel the spirit of thanksgiving.
understand what I'm doing? In our kingdom, we fight with songs. David said, you are my hiding place. You fill my heart with songs of deliverance. I know what songs have done for me. So I tell people, when God puts a, a spiritual song, Paul speaking says, singing to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual song. This is a spiritual song. I had my plan. I had the songs to sing. But I was standing right there, and I heard, Eshe Baba, Eshe Omo, Eshe Jesu. Amen. It means he has done things tonight. Jesus. 
the, the problem of the world is not God. Everybody feels there's a big man up there. Sometimes they say Mother Nature. Sometimes they say there's a big guy up there. There's a big force up there. Their problem is Jesus. It's Jesus. Yeah. Immediately you begin to, to, to talk about Jesus and there's a problem. You see, the world celebrates Christmas, but they don't want to celebrate the reason behind Christmas. And there's salvation in no other name. He holds all things together by the word of his power. Who is the word? Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus. In the Hebrew, in the Hebrew, in the Hebrew, he is called Yeshua Amashia. Yes, somebody say Yeshua Amashia. You know the Lord just from time to time I just hear these sounds from heaven. I was in the US and I was I, don't, I think I was meditating and I heard Yeshua Amashia, Lion of Judah. Agule Jembao Yeshua Hamashia Lion of Judah Agule Jemba In Revelations 5 they said they were weeping who is worthy to open the, the scroll to take the book and open the scroll and the elder said weep not for the lion of Judah, he has prevailed. He has taken the book and opened the scrolls thereof. Every scroll of your life that was shot. Erabashaya. Yeshua, Yeshua. Amashia. the song is a chant is a chant is a war chant is a war chant somebody say chant there are some battles you don't you don't fight with prayers you wake up at 12 midnight the, the hallelujah hour halal at midnight Paul and Silas they prayed, then they sang praises. When they prayed, nothing was happening. Then they switched, then they sang. Then the Bible says there was an earthquake. You need to learn to take your shekere. Somebody say your shekere. Shut your door. Forget the adversaries. Yeshua, Yeshua.
means the mighty lion who keeps watch over the universe there is a reason why God is not the, the, the God of the tribe of Judah why is not the, the elephant an elephant is bigger the lion signifies dominion when the lion roars every predator finds their level when we praise him like this in praise he begins to roar I prophesy as we call him Yeshua whatever battles whatever enemies whatever gang dogs are against you we invoke the dimension of the lion of Judah lift up your hands so he gets and be lifted up he everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory some men 
He said, there's a new sheriff in town. I'm talking about battles where he'll be at home, this Christian man will be at home, and they would, the Holy Spirit will say to him, go to the office at six, and he'll go there and find a habitist in his office, not in his spirit. Not in the spirit. 6 a.m. Pouring in Kanduji. Tell somebody, welcome to Nigeria. <laughs> to cut. So, there was a day when this person was going to walk. He had an accident. And then they sent him a text. They said, you've escaped this, you won't escape another one. But thank God we had some young people who could pray. to roar with that song. As that song begins to roar, you're going to also roar in the spirit. You will roar in tongues. Whatever are the adversaries, darkness in our nation, in your city, in your family, we'll sing it once and we'll sound the shofar and the trumpet. When the trumpet is sounding, you lift up your voice and begin to roar. Are you ready? Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands.
There's so much power in what we're doing. 2017, we had something called the Hallelujah Challenge. We're praising at 12 midnight. Praising, and then we felt led to declare that pharaohs are coming down. And then the next day, a young man went to his office. He had people gathered against him. He was about to sit down, and then he said, the spirit, he said, don't sit down, kneel down and pray. And for the first time in his life in the office, he knelt down and prayed. As he knelt down to face, to put his face on the chair, he saw six of his pins inserted on his chair. Everyone involved in that was sacked. When we engaged, every time we engage a high praise, we trigger the lion part of God. I don't know why I'm saying this today. You came here with battles. Whilst you are saying Yeshua, something is rumbling in your home. Hey, Yeshua! to go home you know we're in our house I was sleeping and I heard the choir of darkness singing you know and then I felt the bed began to rise this year was it this year this year you know what we do is dangerous they will come after you but the, but the Bible says that he he's like a wall of fire around about us and glow in the midst of it so when I woke up and I knew you know, sometimes you, you mesmerize the devil. Don't give him attention. Yeah. Don't wake up and cry and bang. So I said, ah, I haven't thought you were some serious people. So you people are the one. You better shut up. Yeah. Keep quiet. Yeshua. Hamashia. Lion of Judah. Can you lift your voice and sing? There is yet more realms of glory. God is calling us to, to a deeper place, to a higher place. I got that word personally. That whatever I've seen is child's play. A member of our team sent me a vision he had. 
He said we were somewhere ministering dressed in military clothes and there was, you know, resistance. Then all of a sudden, our garments were changed and then we had this new kit and we were operating like seals from above. And then, you know, with more sophisticated weapons. And when Reverend said the weapons, the anointing of yesterday won't suffice the enemy of the future. That's so true. 2020 is a year to push boundaries, to break limits, and to take territories. But we can't do that with the old oil. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, help me to dwell, to gaze, to behold your face. Majestic beauty all around the world who is seated on the throne, the creatures and the fall, and twenty elders worshiping the one who lives forevermore. Singing. guys please like and share our videos after watching also click on the subscribe button to get subscribed to our channel don't forget to turn on the notification button so you can get notified when we upload our new content thank you for watching god bless you